okay then so hello everyone thanks uh, to the staff team chief for giving this wonderful opportunity to uh, talk to all of you i hope these talks are useful to you and um, as again i would like to share our experience with of tms therapy in autism as you know we have been doing tms uh, for autism patients for almost now uh, this is a fourth year and we have had uh, uh gratifying results we have very satisfactory results we have been uh, increasing our our um, increasing our uh, the, the way we recommend we are recommending strongly uh, the tms therapy in autism patients so there's actually a youtube link you can google uh, uh, rtms and uh, jaipal reddy and you will get one youtube video which i uh, have specifically um, specifically is a uh, is a long lecture on the role of uh, tms and autism so i am not going to include those details in this uh, talk but it's a pretty elaborate discussion of the role of tms in uh, in uh, autism patients it's an old video that i had made almost 2 years ago since available uh, online i don't want to repeat it i would encourage that uh, people uh, that uh, whoever is interested in this uh, in this uh, topic would uh, please have a uh, have a look at it so autism is better called is better should be called as autism spectrum disorder autism is a very limited condition autism spectrum disorder indicates the wide spectrum of presentation that are possible in this disorder what are the cardinals uh, it is so broad the presentation what are the cardinal features of autism there are two uh, features of autism that stand out one is decreased social interactions speech disorder and the other is hyperactivity these are the cardinal feature of autism and why why do you think it happens we think that uh, it is hyperactivity of the right frontal lobe and the hyperactivity of the left frontal lobe this is a simple theory that we put forward to explain this autism patients and what do we do we stimulate the left dlpfc 120% of uh, motor threshold we give about 1000 pulses frequency of train 10 then inter intertrain interval of 10 seconds and we inhibit the left right dlpfc again with the same protocol and we at least give 60 sessions most of the patients who had good result had at least 60 sessions these are some children who have underwent uh, patients and this is a we have results uh, we are pretty encouraging you see this is one review that uh, one of our patient has written for us on google reviews you can go to google and uh, reviews american brain and spine and uh, you know one lady has written very elaborately how her sister who was suffering from severe asd found a very good uh, result with the uh, tms therapy and we had so many reviews so many people who have come back to us who refer their uh, other patients whom they know with autism spectrum disorder to come to us with t for tms therapy before this lockdown we had several international patients who were getting tms therapy with in our center now again slowly we have now three outstation patients and so many local patients who get uh, tms therapy at our center uh, so i think the results are very encouraging and i think there's still a lot of work needs to be done in this regard so i think uh, you know i wanted to keep this my discussion very uh, my talk very short so i believe that uh, autism spectrum disorder is a very extensive disease with varied presentation it's a difficult disease to treat you need to be really patient you need to spend a lot of time with the family explaining the disease explaining the treatment and i think treat rtms should be added to all cases of autism along with so many other therapies that are available in the market like speech therapy occupational therapy physiotherapy so many therapies behavioral therapy cognitive therapy so many other therapies are there i think tms is a very very useful addition um, to these patients and i think it, the results are extremely encouraging i think we need to promote it and uh, use it in almost all cases of autism 
and i thank you on this note i again uh, thanks to all of you joining us on these talks and thanks to shelly in particular and other staff in yingchi for giving this wonderful opportunity i hope these talks that are available in youtube are viewed more uh, and so that uh, the different doctors uh, especially neurologists neurosurgeons psychiatrists get benefited out of this uh, these talks i think this will these talks will become a big library uh, a, a collection of huge uh, database for other doctors to work on so thanks once again if there are any questions on this topic i'll be happy to answer